everybody. How's it going? I'm Larissa. If you are new to the channel and I have to start by saying you guys, it's been it's been a few months again since I have chatted with you and I will be frank. I have been going through a lot of pretty intense personal issues and it's made it so I'm not even entirely sure how to interact with you guys right now through those things, but I've just gotten so many messages of people saying, please don't stop making them. So um, let's give it a try anyway. So um, I wanted to chat about sleep. I'm really tired right now. And it's been like two weeks of like perpetual exhaustion. Um, I'm not doing a really good job of being disciplined with my sleep schedule um, and sometimes we don't have the luxury of um, just sleeping when we want to. So um, I was curious how your guys' symptoms are when you don't get sleep. I've been probably averaging like, this is a bad example, do not do this, like five, maybe seven hours if I'm like, oh, I slept a lot. And I'm noticing that my symptoms are like more more intense. Now, I have to say that I've been doing really well with my symptoms and I've been not complaining about them at all. But I notice that when I'm not sleeping, I'm more sensitive to things like flashing things or like a ribbon that's on a car flapping in the wind or um, sounds or things like that. I feel like my nervous system is way more sensitive and I'm more shaky and I'm trying to find a way to rein in the importance of taking care of myself well rein in my 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 bad practices of like not eating properly at the right times and not sleeping not drinking enough water um, I I feel like those sort of things are really important so I'm wondering like what do you do to take care of yourself? Are you struggling in any areas? I would say like sleep and eating are two things that are really hard for me right now. And I'm noticing the effects of them. So I'm trying to figure out how to be more disciplined to take better care of myself. It's not easy. So um, I had to be somewhere by 8.30 this morning and I was an hour early so I thought now is the time to reconnect with my people. Hi people! <laughs> I've really missed you and you can comment down below and say hi and tell me the things that you're struggling with or that you're doing awesome with. I like what's awesome but do tell me like for me it's I told you already sleep and eating and I want to try to set a, like a schedule a bedtime for myself even though I'm 35 and do some better like food prep so I'm not going without eating, which I did today. I made myself a turkey sandwich for breakfast and for lunch. So I, I had those made last night so that when I had to leave really early, I could just grab that out of the fridge and that was really handy. And um, I'm starting to shake, can you see that? <laughs> I'm holding the phone on the steering wheel but I'm holding it and now my hand's starting to say, don't make me do that. Oh no. I I often try to find different words. If you've seen some of my older videos, you know that when I stutter, I try to not struggle with the word that I can't say, but find a different word to take its place so that I'm not struggling over that same stinking letter. Um, and then sometimes I just stop talking because it's like, for me, I look at it as the whole neuro pathway. Um, like if you think of it this way, like when you use your brain, you're taking a path in the grass. If you think of a field and if your your brain is taking, um, this pathway, it's trotting, trotting over the, that's not even probably a word over the grass and like stamping down on it 
wow, I'm making up vocabulary words right now because I'm so tired and I'm trying to articulate this to you and it's not coming out very well and I didn't plan to tell you it. But neural pathways, think of a field you are walking over the grass and um, I cannot think of a single vocabulary word for pressing down the grass, but blazing a trail. And over that time, the more that you take that trail in the grass, the easier it gets, right? So you can just walk over that, that pathway really fast, really easily. Well, your brain's like that. So the, the more that we're practicing those bad pathways or negative or unpleasant pathways like stuttering or shaking or my new favorite symptom is my nose it's not really new new but <clears throat> it's the more present is that my nose will scrunch up and um, those pathways the more we take them the more easy it is for your brain to take them like if you're walking in a field and you see a pathway you're gonna take that instead of you know foraging over a new one so the more that we can create new paths and say, oh, brain, I am not taking that old path. We're making this new one over here. Um, the, the stronger our brains will be to, to, to do the, the more appropriate or natural or what should be natural firings of the brain, you know, that nervous system firing. So the, the more I can stop that stuttering or stop my face from scrunching up, which is not always easy, <laughs> so funny. Uh, but then, yeah, the better we are. So I'm just kind of rambling, but I figured, you know, it's been a while since we've connected, and I don't want to. I don't want to give it up. I I'm not famous. This is there's there's like I think we're just shy of 300 subscribers, and um. I miss you guys and and I, I started a Facebook page it's um the first name is the life and the last name is trekkers so it's just like a normal Facebook page um, but I've kind of tried to start a community there um, for us and then you can always email me uh, but I'm more than happy I'm no expert I've been on this FND journey since December of 2015 and it's definitely had its ups and downs and it's um, quite staggering to start to think about um, the time that it's stuck around and um, um, accepting that that prognosis might be there forever, but learning that there are ups and downs and seasons where things are more challenging and then things were, um, things are more strong and empowering and um, kind of learning flexibility. And I think one of the biggest things out of all of this is a resilience our ability to overcome is astounding and don't forget that we're strong and because of that uh, we go on right and Darren once said to me you know I was like I can't I can't do this it was just like crippled with pain um, and he was like you don't really have a choice and it sounds kind of jerky but he was being completely supportive and you know what it was like you're right we must go on. So um, let's keep going on. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep making new neuro pathways. Let's get sleep. And I'm going to eat my sandwich. So um, comment. Say hi. Tell me what you've been up to. Um, tell me your struggles. Share with me um, areas where um, you're kicking butt. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye.